very popular story about a tusker, a huge elephant moving through the forest all by himself. While he was moving around, a miner came and sat on his head and he felt very annoyed by that and he wanted to chase the, uh, the miner so with his trunk he swiped over the head and the miner flew up and then came back and sat on his head again. He did that several times, but the miner persisted on sitting on his head. And then finally he said, well, now that I cannot do anything other than that, maybe I would become friendly with this miner and started talking to him and telling the miner how he has admired all the birds, how, they, how wonderful it is to fly and how he has longed to fly all the time but he has tried several tricks, he never succeeded. And he said, maybe I am not destined to fly at all. Then the miner asked him, do you really want to fly? He said, of course I want, I'm so eager. And then he said, if you want, I can teach you. Only pro uh, one condition is that all what I tell you, you must do. And the elephant was very happy to agree with that. And he said, yes, I would do that. And then the miner said, now you go up to the top of this mountain. And when you reach the topmost part of it, turn around, stretch your trunk forward and stretch your uh, tail backward and flap your ears and you run down fast and then you will fly. And the elephant said, well, I have tried this several times. It would not work. I know that it will not work at all. But I have failed and I have tried and failed. Then the elephant said, you promised me that you would do all that I asked you to do. Why don't you do that? Then he said, well, I know I will not be able to fly. Since I have made the commitment, certainly I shall go and try again. So with this thought in his mind, I am going to make a fool of myself. I will not succeed. This is uh, the worst thing in my life. I am doing, I have done this several times. The same mistake is going to be repeated again and again. His mind was filled with these thoughts. And he went up, he followed the instruction, held his trunk forward, tail backward, and flapped his ears, and he ran down. Nothing happened. So then he came back to the miner and said, I told you, you made a fool of me. It would not succeed, I told you. I knew it would not happen. Then the miner said, okay, you stay here. I will come back in a few moments time. And then the miner flew off into the forest. While the elephant was waiting there, he said, oh, I made a mistake of approaching this miner. He is making me a fool of me. I am already a fool. He's only creating the situation was in the meantime when he was engaged in this kind of thoughts the miner came back and miner had a feather in his beak he gave that feather to the elephant and said you hold this feather in your trunk because it's a magical feather it has such a magical power anybody who holds the feather will get the magical power flowing all over his body and his whole body will be filled with the magical power and they will be able to do anything. When the elephant heard that, his whole, whole thought process changed because he knew of the power of magic. He had seen many uh, any examples and he had uh, felt the uh, effect of magic in many lives and so he was so convinced he said, yes. Now that I have this magic in me, I will certainly fly. And then he holds this. As soon as he holds the feather in his trunk, he could feel vibrations going all over. And he said, walks very confidently all the way to the top of the mountain, holding this feather up in the trunk. And he reaches there, turns around down to the hill, and stretches the trunk forward, flaps the wing, uh, the ears, and holds the tail, and runs back, and lo and behold, the elephant got lifted up into the air, and he flew all over the world as, as long as he wanted. 
Then finally, when he came back, he fell at the feet of the miner and told him, look, you have done a great service to me, the greatest desire of my life you have fulfilled. I do not know how to thank you. Thank you very much for the magic. Then the miner said, what magic are you talking about? He said, that feather which had magic. He said, absolutely, there was no magic at all. It was a feather that was fallen in the forest. I picked it up and I told you that it has a magic power because I knew that your thought pattern will immediately change when I give you this because I know that you believe. When you believe in something, your thoughts are activated and your whole energy of the body is all the uh, energy producing systems of the body gets activated and you receive the power, the power of your thought to change your life. Thank you.